just a real quick short intro. Civivi Imperium. We're gonna do a first impressions. I just pulled this out of the box. I'd actually looked at it a couple times. But before we get too far into it, turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music. Before we take any more talking, you should take a look at this. This is Jeff Smith, Cutlery Lover. I'm sorry, Colonel Jeff Smith over at Cutlery Lover. You guys, he is one of the main reasons I have a channel. I like to talk to him. I, I DM and Instagram him. Uh, DM him on Instagram, I should say. I actually sent him a knife, gave him one as a gift, one of my designs, the Sea Snake, so that he could have it and do a review of it. Uh, he seemed to like it. I really appreciate that for me. So support the channels you love. I'm providing that to you. If you're not already subscribed to his channel, you probably should. So let's go ahead and talk about this Civivi Imperium. Uh, this came in from my buddy Tino. He dropped it off and wanted to see if I wanted to do a review of it. It is another Civivi. Civivi does do a really good job on our knives. I've already found a couple small things with it uh, that we'll mention when we get down below. So, uh, it, it, you know, it's a configuration I'm not a real big fan of. It is a top flipper. Uh, they don't typically, they're not typically my favorite, but the nice thing about this, it does leave me some options. But we'll talk about that down at the mat. So, guys, without any further ado, let's get down to the mat and take a quick look at this. All right, guys, well, let me slide it over a little bit. I didn't realize I had it that far out. Um, so this is Civivi Imperium. I got this from my buddy Tino. He brought it over. I'm just getting it out of the box and looking at it. Um, so, you know, Typical of Civivi, really well done, beautiful, attractive uh, scales. This is that. Uh, I, I did the other knife that he has that has these same scales. Hang on just a so second. Guys, like I said, I got this from my buddy Tino, came in. It is a Civivi Imperium. Uh, it comes packaged well, so let's, we'll look at what comes in it because CVB usually gives you a few extras. You got a wipey rag, you got your case. Um, came in a little baggy here. So you have uh, a couple stickers. Um, well, this, yeah. Sticker so support does your support does help us make better product and service. So um, it does come with a couple little stickers, and they've started putting things on their stickers so that it's not just uh, so they don't have to make as big a flyer. Uh, and it comes it does come with a little pack of candy. So nice little zipper case, so you don't have to necessarily keep the box. The box is nice, but like on a budget knife like this, I probably wouldn't keep it. Uh, so this is. Typically, as you guys know, I'm not a fan of top flippers. It is a top flipper, but it does have thumb studs. The action on this is really good. Uh, it's, I think I'm going to, I think that, I think the way it feels in hand is going to grow on me, but as it stands right now, it feels odd. And I think it's just because I haven't had a knife this thin for a while, like this narrow from, from back to front. It, the thickness is good, but it just feels awkward, but it is not in a weird position. Uh, if you guys remember that DX2, uh, Alienized DX2 prototype I had, which was a great knife, just didn't get, I couldn't get, it didn't cut. It didn't get in line with my thumb the way I wanted it to. Um, so the only two issues I've really seen with this so far have been the fact that it is a top flipper, which I'm typically not a fan of, or front flipper. I can't get, like, I have to get my hand completely out of position to even use that. And then, I apologize, my neighbor is mowing. Uh, and then the pocket clip. Pocket clip is, it's a little wiggly and it stands a little tall. I'm not a fan usually of Sabibi's pocket clips. They have a tendency to just be kind of out of sync with what I would want. But I believe that it would be pretty easy to find a pocket clip that would fit that screw pattern and just replace it with something else. Uh, scales are gorgeous. This is that carbon fiber gold flake. Um, the, the shredded carbon fiber gold flake that they had on another knife that I did that Tino let me borrow, and I can't remember which one it was. Nice thin ground in hand once you get it open. That jimping is really comfortable. It's in a good position. It's not overly aggressive, but it's also not, as I like to say, vestigial, which for you guys that don't mean it means like it doesn't really serve a purpose. Like it's just there for show. Um, yeah, nice design. I like broad blade with some belly 
and it's ground pretty thin and it's not real thick on the blade stock. Hang on a second. Let me get my calipers and we'll take a look at blade stock thickness real quick, just because I'm curious. Once again, guys, I do apologize for noise, but there's nothing I can do about it. And it is just one of those things that I'm going to have to deal with. So blade stock thickness on this, 0.112, not bad at all. So if you guys, I know some people complained about it. Some people are like, why doesn't he do it? I, I, I was no, it's French Canadians. I guarantee it was French Canadians. Why doesn't he do it in a millimeter? So <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do it in millimeters. Zero that out. So in millimeters, you are looking right at 2.9, so basically three millimeters, um, 2.95, three millimeters. Not real thick, uh, nice thin blade stock that is ground really well, comes down to a nice point. I think that this design blade is really good for work purposes. Um, as you can see finish on it, fit and finish seems pretty good. Matt has not done, my buddy Tino has not done anything really with this knife. He did do a little bit of light cutting, uh, you can see with that. But yeah, I mean, not a horrible knife overall. I mean, it's pretty nice. I have had zero issues with Civivis lately. So with that being said, guys, uh, let's flip this around, do some final thoughts. Like I said, we're not going to get any price. We're not going to get any specs. This is strictly just a first impressions. I do kind of like this. I'm going to try and carry it lightly because it is not my knife. But uh, I'm kind of impressed with it just like when I flip it. That's always been my problem with some of these knives. When I flip it, I can feel the pocket clip move. And it just feels weird. That's why I never liked, that's why I never liked those spider co, spider co clips that are just a piece of wire that's bent down and around as opposed to being a solid pocket clip. Oh, I just like, I like this too. I've noticed that on a couple of their knives lately. They've incorporated, instead of having a lanyard hole that kind of is ugly and nasty, that what they've done is they've just added a space to the backspacer nice i do like all the just blacked out stuff so let's go ahead uh let's flip this around do some final thoughts and uh and be done with this for today all right like i said Sabibi imperium only a couple things i'm not a fan of top flippers it is a little thin i think i would get used to it but the big thing like i always say i'm, I'm not a fan of most pocket clips Sabibi's pocket clips typically you know it's a budget line they're typically not as good but yeah, everything else about this is great. Um, please don't don't go down in the comment section and start telling me price and things like that. I like to leave that. I think I mentioned that if I remember right earlier. Um, I like to leave that a mystery until I take a look at it. But, you know, it is a gorgeous looking knife. It's well done. Savivi always does a really good job. And it just is a, I mean, it's a pretty good, nice little thin knife if you want something. And the fact that it does have the thumb studs kind of mitigates the, the whole flop, top flipper thing for me. Um, it's a top flipper, front flipper, but like I have to get my hands in the wrong position for it. Uh, but the fact that it is a liner lock does help. So guys, with that being said, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I have built you guys a list of uh, items where you can get them. I'm going to add this knife, if I can find it on Amazon, I will add this knife uh, down below as an affiliate link. So if you wanna purchase the items, you can. Uh, there's a whole list of tools. There's a whole list of knives that I recommend for EDC. There's a whole list of stones. All that stuff's down there. Anything you purchase through once you go into my portal it does uh, help the channel because uh, I get revenue from anything you purchase once you click on those links. So like I said, guys, uh, that being said, if you want to join the channel, there is a membership tab below in a in it, and there's also one on my main channel. There is, I think they call it Super Thanks now or Super Like which used to be the old applause where you could drop. It's like super chat for a live feed only in a pre-recorded video. Um, and if you want to help support the channel by sharing videos and supporting channels you love, like I said, Jared, Metal Complex, uh, this guy, all of, none of us, well, this guy maybe could do his stuff for free because of the ad revenue, but none of us can do it really for free. Supporting channels is great. So if you can even just share the videos, that would be great. Keep it clean in the comments section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. If it's your birthday, happy birthday.